If you find yourself climbing up and down standing seam metal roofs day in and day out, whether it be for an installation or an inspection, Sometimes it's helpful just to have an extra place to put your foot, an extra foothold during that climb. Well, today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we are demoing a product that solves that exact problem. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I am Thad Barnett. Subscribe if you're new here. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Well, today we have something special for all you standing seam installers or standing seam metal roofing inspectors. It's a product that is designed to give you an extra foothold when you are climbing up and down those roofs day in and day out. And we have the inventor of the product, Jim Mitchell, here with us today. All right, so I got Jim Mitchell and Jeff Hawk both here on the Metal Roofing Channel. They're gonna be talking about the product. So Jim, tell me first, what is the product we're gonna be taking a look at today? Um, it's called the Roof Wrap Bracket, and it's designed to give you a place to put your foot on a standing seam roof. So how does that product actually work? What does it look like? I have one right here. This is where you would put your foot, and you press these levers, and it opens up a cam system. Okay. And the cam is applied to the standing seam, and as you step on it, it just gets tighter all by itself. Can we see it uh, working on an actual seam of a, of a roof? Can we take a look at, at some of your examples back there? Sure. I, uh, I have a sample board with some different profiles on it. Let me go over and just put it on for you. So you just press the levers. That's an inch and three-quarter snap lock. I'm just going to step on it. As you can see, it's not moving. If I'm on a roof, I want I can actually just slide it up with my foot without taking it off and step on it again. It's just that when you want to take it off the seam, you must press the levers to disengage the cans because they're not designed to take the pressure in an opposite direction. That looks like it would be super helpful, especially since you don't have to take off the whole unit when you want to move it up the seam. Not at all. And uh, I did a lot of inspections through my years as a consultant and uh, weather type warranties. What a great tool for inspectors, homeowners, anybody climbing around on a metal roof that's not really comfortable. Give me some more details about the cam system. Do you need any tools or anything like that to actually apply the pressure? There's no tools required. As I showed you, there's just two levers at the top, and when you press them with your fingers, the cam's open, you let go. And cam system, you don't get anything stronger. Most of your OSHA required uh, false protection has cams on the ropes. There's cams on everything. Uh, rock climbers, it's all cams. Uh, cams are pretty fail safe and extremely strong. So what type of profiles does it work on? Does it work on all profiles? Is there limitations to it? Um, it'll work on anything that's an inch and a half high up to a two inch. Uh, those are the, most of the panels used in the industry, so that's what it was designed around. Um, it works on a two inch on a 90 or 180. You don't see a two inch on steep buildings very often unless it's government work. Um, and for gavel loom, it's a great product because gavel loom gets scuffed and you have to replace the panel. Well, now you have a place to put your foot. It's going to minimize that scuffing because you won't have to worry about sliding all the time. Also on the bottom of the bracket, it has these little rubber feet to take and protect it from touching the finished surface of the panel. So you don't have to worry about any metal surfaces touching the paint finish and uh, potentially scratching it. What was one of the reasons why you developed the product? Give me some uh, reasons why, you know, someone might want to use it. Um, I've, I've been in the industry for 49 years, and it's very common knowledge that everybody, when they're on a roof that's a little steep or slick, the comment, boy, I wish I had a place to put my foot. Yep. And that is exactly the reason behind the design and what it's for. This gives you a place to put your foot when you're in an uncomfortable situation. So is, it, is that something that uh, over your years of experience, you know, you said that this, this would be really helpful in certain situations. Give me some examples of, of situations where, you know, you might have wished you would have had a product like this or uh, a situation where it would have helped. Yeah, if I was working on a skylight doing a, a flashing detail and I'm on a 712 and it's a little slick, I could put this on the seam and have a place to rest my foot and I could be comfortable and work. Um, we always recommend you be tied off according to OSHA standards based upon the duties you're performing to meet the requirements of OSHA, but now you don't have a harness pulling on you that's tight. You can actually be relaxed in the environment. Your foot is secure. You can do your job, and if you need to, you just slide it up the roof, and off you go. 
I think one of the cool things about it is, you know, in the areas like Jim's talking about, you know, it relieves a lot of fatigue, you know, from when you're working in situations like that. You know, if you're going to be somewhere doing an intricate detail or, you know, on a steeper roof like Jim's talking about, you know, it, you can wear out pretty quick. So anything to help make your job more comfortable and uh, a little bit easier to do is always, always a good thing. Talk to me about the name of the system. How did you come up with that? Um, I call it the roof wrap bracket. Uh, many, I've been doing metal roofing for so long that uh, many years ago, uh, a guy seen me crawling up under a dormer and he said, what are you, a roof rat? <laughs> and it just kind of stuck through the years. Um, 49 years, a lot of people know me. I've been around doing this a long time. So I just kept the name as a, as a joke. And then I had this idea a long time ago. And once I retired from the corporate world, I decided to move forward with it and call it the roof rat bracket. Awesome. So talk to me about uh, the pricing and, and where do people find this? Uh, they can go to my website, uh, roofwrapbracket.com. Um, the pricing is uh, $225. Um, it's very competitive uh, pricing compared to the alternatives that are out there. Um, we've had uh, good success with contractors really liking it um, when it's used the way it's designed. Um, everybody's been really happy with it. And it's, it's a simple little tool. They can carry it in their apron. Um, it's not huge and cumbersome. It's easy to install slides up the roof um, with multiple ones. Some guys have hanged tool bags off of other ones while they're working in detail. So um, I'm really pleased with the turnout. Yeah, the product's also going to be available through Sheffield. So if you're an existing customer, you can contact your sales rep and uh, get an order in and be able to purchase it that way as well. Um, is there anything else that we haven't covered that you think someone should know or might like to know? Um, I, uh, some of the, some products are good in the rain. Um, this, this will not hold if it's raining on the seam gets wet. The reason I wasn't concerned about that is that if you're on a steep roof, you have no business being up on a standing roof in the rain anyway. So, um, that's the only thing I would put out there. It is in the directions when it comes and it's on the website, it's, it's made clear, but that would be the only thing that I would, um, that people really need to know that. Thanks to Jim Mitchell for bringing his roof rat bracket onto the Metal Roofing channel today. Make sure you check out the link in the description to purchase one for yourself. It's a really cool tool for all you standing seam installers or standing seam inspectors. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below with any questions that you might have. As always, I'm Thad Barnett and we will catch you next time.